So next one, point number four, use one line of code per thought. Again, this might make your code a little bit longer, but in the end, it's much better. So again, we're back to the same function. I put it all in one line. Does that look pretty? Again, this code and this code accomplish the same exact thing. Is that pretty? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's pretty. It's one line of code. Uh, it's really good, isn't it? One line, of, one, one line of code is definitely better than 16 lines of code. I would uh, argue for that. The problem here, again, is that you have a lot of thoughts going on there in one single line of code. It's a small calculation, but again, you have, you have to make everyone guess what you were thinking when you wrote this code. And that's poo-poo code. You don't want that. So on the next slide, we have, again, just what I showed you earlier. Just split every single thing into one thought per line. Point number five. You don't need those ugly, pesky comments. I am a personal, uh, I personally hate comments. And for those non-technical people out there, the comments are some notes that you write inside of the code. And this, these comments are not interpreted by your computer. So your computer goes and says, oh, that's a comment. I'm not going to run that. I'm just going to skip that line of code. And the reason why I hate comments is because if you need comments all over the place, you are most likely doing something wrong. If you're, you're writing poo-poo code because you're trying to explain what your code is doing in comments. And I'm sure I'm, that in 99% of the cases, you can find a way to make sure that your code is extremely readable without comments. It might look like something like this, something super long, but it's much better than a comment because in the end, comments are lies waiting to happen. And what that means is that Let's say that you write some code today and write some, some extremely detailed comment about how uh, your code is working, what it's doing, and what, it's gonna, what you were thinking when you built it. Next developer comes along, modifies the code, ignores the comments, and now you have a lie in your, in your hands. You have code that basically doesn't match the comments. And be honest here, everyone. Most of you ignore comments when you look at them. Like You just look at a comment and you, your, your eyes skip right through them. And, or that might not be you, but that's, that's definitely me. The least amount of comments that you can write, the better. Again, 98% of the time, you should not need those comments. Point number six, keep it skinny and fit. And no, I'm not talking that type of skinny and fit. And no, I'm not talking about that kind of uh, skinny and fit either. Those are good skinny and fits to have, but I'm not talking about that, that, that type right now. What I mean with that, with skinny and fit, is what they talk about when they refer to the single responsibility principle. And what that means is make sure that most things you do, I'm not saying all of them because it's impossible, uh, or at least for me at my current skill level, it's impossible for me to, to keep everything to one single thing per, per function or per line of code. But the single responsibility principle says that you should make every function or most lines of code do one single thing only. And for example, right now in, on lines six through eight, we have instead of calculations, which was, for example, slices of bread times calories in bread, we have a function call that says get calories in bread and we just pass into it the slices of bread. And at the end, we get the total. So let me show what those functions do. Uh, again, this is much more code, but get calories in bread basically passes in the slices. You you have as a constant in there the, the calories per, per slice of bread. And at the end, you just get the calories in bread times the slices of bread. And each function here will give you that same type of output, which is the, the, the total calories in the food that you're consuming. And yeah, I know most of you are going to look at this code and say, well, I could write that in one single function and make it like a function that, that returns a function. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, that's, that's great. <laughs> so yeah, keep it skinny and keep it fit so that in the end, when someone looks at this code, they don't have to care about how the, cal the calories in bread is being calculated or how the calories in ham is being calculated or anything else. <laughs>